Well, today turned out to unexpectedly be a great day, and I love it when you have a day filled with errands and it turns out to just have little surprises along the way. So, and we just thought we'd just bring you along and show you some of our surprises. Did it! We just went inside and we've got the shavings and the char starter kit and we're getting really ready for chickens. Mm -hmm. And Stacia's pretty excited. I had to drag her away from school to come do this with me, but she's pretty excited. And uh, they have some really cute chicks in there and so we might be sucked in after we go grocery shopping. We'll see. Show me what you have. Oh, oh. okay. So, so let me see. Chicken math has begun. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Chicken math? They just jumped right into box. So we need to go get them set up really quick. Well, I thought they'd be a little bit more comfortable in this box till we can get the groceries in and get the shavings unpacked so they can have a real, and their feeders. But they're, um, Yuki's very interested in them. So we may have to do some, oh, and this one likes to peck everyone, the black one. <laughs> now, I, I think maybe that's because they're scared or maybe they just need some food in a bigger spot. The brown one keeps bulldozing under everybody. But this is one very happy girl. <laughs> so now we need to get groceries and settle in the chicks. Mm -hmm. UPS! So we had a story. <laughs> Look at this! Two big boxes! Mike bought me a greenhouse! Yay! It, um, we had talked to Home Depot and they told us it would take six weeks and they would ship it up on a barge. And so then we called Costco. <laughs> Good hope around Africa. And <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, called Costco, and they said they could ship it up here, and it was it was a hundred dollars instead of fifty to ship it. And I'm rounding numbers, but we thought it would take two to four weeks, and it got here three days after we ordered it. Three days from Pennsylvania to Alaska. Costco earned my business. Hey! Oh, there we've got Golda. We named her that because Golda Meir was the first female prime minister in Israel, and she was our first hen. And she's kind of gold right now. What is she doing? Okay. I saw her do that earlier. She just stretches. Stretches her legs out. Here's Golda. She's feeling very friendly. I'm guessing. Look at her. Well, hello. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. The third one. Oh, Maybe. look at oh, this. Oh, 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 no. This is the one that has feathers on its feet. Oh, no. And there's the little black one. That little black one seems kind of mean. Kind of. Oh, they found some food on this side. And it's bizarre because we couldn't get the big feeder in there, but they just keep climbing right on top of that little dish. Come in here and all three of them will be on there. <laughs> oh, she's, there we go. This little black one. Oh my goodness. Maybe it'd be better just to put the food on the paper towel for now. I don't know. Maybe. But they are certainly having fun.
Those of you who have these uh, brooder plates can tell us if we need to raise that up higher. Oh, okay, they're fighting over the food. Yeah. And there's plenty of food to go around, so. This must be a chicken habit. They rule the roost now, but pretty soon they're going to have a big brooder with 15 buddies. Do you understand us? <laughs> I don't know. Does she look at you when you call her? <laughs> Not really, but she probably doesn't yet. realize that she's Golda. Yeah. I don't yeah. know how much they understand and how much they're just trained. None of them. Oh. Guess we'll discover. She understands how water's cold. <laughs> well, the little hobbit one is still under there. Yeah. It's pecking at the cardboard. Huh. See, there's some of the food spilled over there. That's what they're doing. It's kind of impossible to get them to eat out of this dish since they spilled their food and now they yet. They said that the chick starter had enough grit in it, but that I got some so that I can give them some in case they start eating a lot of the shavings, which seems to be what they're doing. So maybe it would be good to give them some. I don't how know. About how about those of you who've done this chick thing? Do we need to give them chick grit because they're eating shavings? And how do we stop them from eating shavings? And why do they think they all need to sit in the food dish? Territorial. Yeah, territorial. Let's see how much room we gave them here. Do you think that's too low? Do we need to raise it? Lower it. So. Oh, hello. What is that? This is our hobbit chick. But we can't think of good female hobbit names we like yet. Oh, that might be her bum. I don't know what you're seeing. Saturday <laughs> is supposed to be our chick day, and we'll be driving into Anchorage and picking up 15 chicks. We've ordered, um, let's see, six Easter Eggers and two Silkies and seven, um, I think they're a red sex link or Novo something or other, but they're across. Um, and so those are what we have ordered. And we were just getting ready today to bring them so we'd be all ready to have them um, on Saturday. So when we showed up, the first um, we were looking for, and I don't know the name of it, it had like a top hat. It was so cute, but we had to go grocery shopping and didn't want to take them with us. And by the time we got back, those were gone. But we were able to get the three little chicks and their kinds that we did not get from the feed store in Anchorage. So we got a Buff Orpington, a um, Cochin, and that's the little guy that has feathers on his feet, which we think reminds us of a hobbit, so we're trying to think of a hobbit name for him, and a little black one, and they aren't sure, has black legs and black toes, um, so it's some sort of either a black sex link or some breed with black legs that I'm supposed to figure out as we, as it grows, but anyway, that's our excitement for the day.